What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung wants to show their loyal customers that their flagship chipset Exynos 2100 isn't a hot mess as the Exynos 990. They were hyping this chipset quite a lot before the launch of the Galaxy S21. They even kept a dedicated event to launch this chipset which hasn't been done in recent years. So with the Exynos 2100, Samsung is confident that it could take Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 head on and that's kind of what we are seeing in the latest speed test between the Exynos and Snapdragon variant of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Not only that, we also have a battery test that shows some surprising results. First up, here is a speed test from Gary from the YouTube channel Speed Test G. If you wish to take a look at the complete test, the video is given in the description box below. We've been hearing that the Exynos 2100 chipset is miles ahead of its predecessor, the Exynos 990, and it also delivers some insane levels of performance to match Qualcomm's latest and greatest SoC. Well, that was the case during the test. The Exynos 2100 was able to beat the Snapdragon 888 in the CPU test by a margin of a little over a second. Well, that was expected since both of these chipsets have the same CPU clusters, but Exynos has a higher clock speed. So it was bound to beat the Snapdragon in the CPU test, but as the speed test progressed, the cracks in the Exynos 2100's armor started to show. It's only when GPU tests begin that we see the Exynos variant trail behind. In the mixed test which involves both CPU and GPU, Exynos started to fall behind and then lost by quite a big margin in the pure GPU test by a little over 7 seconds. Overall, the Exynos 2100 is 8 seconds slower in the CPU test from Gary. Now, even though Exynos lost, there is still a positive outcome. It definitely proves that Samsung can go head to head with Qualcomm when it comes to mobile processors. They just need help with the GPU side of things, and that's where AMD will come into the picture. Samsung said at the unpacked event that their next flagship will have GPU from AMD, and that's when you can expect Exynos to completely exceed Snapdragon in these kinds of tests. Also, we have a battery test from Mr. Who's the Boss. The full video is in the description. One of the biggest reasons people didn't like the Exynos 990 was its battery life as it was delivering around 20% less battery life compared to its Snapdragon counterpart. So did they improve the battery life with the new Exynos 2100? Well, not only the battery life has gotten significantly better, but the Exynos 2100 of the Galaxy S21 Ultra was able to secure the top spot in Mr. Who's the Boss battery test that consists of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPhone 11 Pro Max, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and the Galaxy S20 Ultra. The S21 Ultra has got 8 hours and 41 minutes of screen on time, which is the longest the phone has ever lasted in its test. By the way, the Snapdragon variant of the S21 Ultra wasn't featured in the test, so we'll have to wait and see if that's gonna make any difference. So what does all of these mean to an average consumer is that Exynos 2100 is a great chipset, even though the GPU scores are low compared to Snapdragon, but still it can run games like PUBG at a consistent 55 to 60 FPS according to the latest video, so definitely there's an improvement. I'll test it out once my S21 Ultra gets here, so in the meantime do consider subscribing for more content like this, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.